Hey everybody, coming to you late at night um, from my floor, sitting on my floor again. Um, kids are asleep, the wife is upstairs, so I'm doing my secret um, review hobby that no one even knows about. So today I'm giving a first look at New Concepts Blue um, speaker cable. I need to refresh my system. Bought a new Denon receiver with the Heos um, features, which is basically a competitor to Sonos. So I've already set it up. I'm really excited about it. Control my music from my app, um, use the receiver, hooked up to TV, but that's for another day. So today we are going to be talking about the new Concepts cable, which is the speaker wire. I bought 12 gauge, um, fancy stuff. A little thicker than I probably need because I'm not running super long um, cable even though I bought a hundred feet I'm not going to run this super long which is really what you need um, 12 or the lower gauge cable for however um, if you do have the thicker wire it does give less resistance and um, maybe you know if you're like a super nerdy audio file or something which isn't me um, but I do like nice set of speakers I have a nice old pair of B&W's um, that really, really sound great. And I just thought I would amp up the performance, no pun intended, uh, with these, hopefully with these speaker wires. I have an old pair of cables. Um, I did bi-amp in there, so I have basically four cables going in each speaker. Um, and I thought I would um, invest in a uh, minor investment in some new speaker cable. I have an old some old cables in there, maybe Monster or some like hokey stuff. Um, we got this like fish line coming through it and like wire wrapped around it. And it said it was like the electricity spirals around it and like punches out bass. And so like a bunch of BS. So I decided to just go for, um, you know, something modern, something simple. This is pure copper cable. I want pure copper. I didn't want anything aluminum clad or anything like that. 12 gauge. Um, oxygen free cable. So, um, got this from Amazon. I also bought some mono price banana plugs in the Affinity series. So I will um, be posting another video talking about that and I will be connecting the cable, the cord to the banana plugs, plugging into the post. I'll be showing all that and kind of giving you a feel. So if you want to um, make the purchase, this video hopefully will um, get you a good feel for that. Because when I searched online, there was like hundreds of cables out there, hundreds of speaker wires out there, a lot made in China. I really couldn't tell what's what. Um, I don't know, just, I just kind of looked. I, I liked the features on this one. Um, it just, it was made in the USA, which I liked and um, got some good reviews. Um, seemed like a company. So, decided to give it a try. So again, the box came in, and I already did open it. There, this was, did have some shrink wrap around it, but really heavy, really nice. Um, so it has this blue Ultra, it's called Ultraflex PVC, and each conductor has 294 strands of copper. So what that means is that it's more flexible. So if you have less strands, it might be less flexible. I like it flexible. Um, one, you could even use it for cars. So like if you're weaving it in and out uh, of areas or in your house, if you have to put it through a cabinet or even um, your speaker, right? And then it needs to bend like this or on your receiver, it needs to bend a little bit. This is really good. Some um, jackets and cables, are really hard to bend and you might ruin them or they're just hard to work with so um, this is really nice it's just really flexible it looks great not that anyone's really going to see it but I'll see it I know about it and the cable and the copper inside looks really nice kind of hard to see through this video I don't know if I do a close-up if it's going to focus in but um, you'll be able to see it on Amazon what the actual copper looks like. Um, so here it is. Again, just unwrap some more. And 
that's about it. I got 100 feet here. Um, probably paid a little more than some of the China brands, but this was, you know, not super high end by any means, um, but it seemed just like a little better quality construction than some of the other ones that I saw. And um, so far I like it, really thick and nice. Um, the the um, one of the conductors has text on it, marked for polarity, so I can match up the negative end, um, the side that has the text on my speaker to the receiver or the amp. And that's it. So I, like I said, I'm gonna post another video, I'm gonna give it a spin, and I think, I think my speakers are gonna love it. I think they're going to really appreciate an upgrade, they're gonna feel really good, they're gonna get these, these uh, electric shocks coming through them. Um, and really blast out some music, some high quality music. And I know they're looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to it too. So thank you for watching my video and check out some of my other ones. Ciao.